Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss another LibreOffice Writer topic and also on this particular topic I do today's video and today's most important feature of LibreOffice Writer, one is macro and another is track changes. So how to use these two different features and what are the importance of these two features I will discuss elaborately step by step. So, go to the computer screen through LibreOffice Writer. I will discuss macros and track changes, these two important features in LibreOffice Writer. Okay. Hello friends, I'm just within the LibreOffice Writer. Now, today I will discuss two different important features which is present within this LibreOffice Writer. One is macro and another is track changes. So what is macro actually? A macro is a set of keystrokes or commands we can form as a single command to accomplish a task automatically. So this is the feature of macro. Suppose we do to change the font size, to change the font style, bold, italic, change the color. These type of keystroke or commands just put in a single command and then we just execute this single command whatever we need. Okay. So these type of features or operation is known as macro in LibreOffice Writer is concerned. Okay? And another feature is track changes. What is that actually? Track changes is one of the feature of LibreOffice Writer that allow to a person to modify or edit a document on a computer and return it to the original owner electronically. So suppose if you do something within a LibreOffice Writer to type some document, change something, etc. etc. And after that, someone sit on that particular computer and changes some edit or some insert, some delete. And after that, what happened when we come back on that particular computer machine, you can see all the changes whatever made by some another person. This feature is called track changes. Okay, so I will discuss these two features one after another. At first, I will discuss macro. Okay, now what we do at first? So just go to the tools. This is the option is given, and just go macros. Okay, now just press record macro. Okay, now what happens is a given record macro, and stop recording is given. Now we do the different command or different operation we want to set within a single command is concerned. So suppose we bold it, then put italic, then suppose change the color into suppose green. And then suppose change the font size 22 pt and also we change the particular font style comic sans ms okay so what we did as a macro is concerned bold now italic after change the color to green the size of the font just 22 pt and also the style is comic sans ms so when we apply this all the features within a single text or paragraph or line so it will affect on that using this macro so after do that we just stop recording okay now we want to save that macro with a name suppose we put the name is example underscore macros okay after that what happened save it okay we already saved this macro within a name example underscore macro okay so just go to the file and new file we just open a new file. Now, whatever we write something, my channel name is technical arquin. So, better we write YouTube channel name is technical arquin. Myself or not good. Okay. Now we want the changes whatever we made and save as a macro suppose on this technical arcuin okay 
At first we just change this technical arrow point, ignore all because this is not a proper noun. So we just ignore it. So which text we want to change this effect, technical arrow point and my name or no kundu on these two. So we just select these two part. Okay. Now go to tools and choose macros and just go run macros. Okay, just click on that. Now what happened? Just open this window, macro selector. So where my saved macro so just go to my macros just go standard and within that module one yes example underscore macro is there macro name is already selected and just press run just see whatever did before when we record our macro bold italic change the color into green the style is comic sans ms and the size of the font is 32 pt all effect come in a single command and just display within this page okay technical argument and all the kundu is just in that part okay so this is the way how to do this macro how to record the macro and then save it and then apply on that using run macro okay so this is the one of the way to run this macro macro can run in three different way the first technique i already told now the second and third Second one is known as keyboard macro and third one is menu macro. So I just go for the keyboard macro how to do this. The macro is already created. The name is example underscore macro and now I just use it by the keyboard macro. Okay. So how? So just go to the file again. We open a new text document. Okay. Now suppose we write something here. My name is Orno Kun. So simple this line is there and we want to change this effect onto this my name or the kundu is concerned. Now then again, now again we go to tools and then go to the macros and then just go to the organize macros and choose basic. Okay. After that just go for assign the example underscore macros and now you assign this macro using some keyboard shortcuts. Just go to the assign. Okay. Now what happened? There is an example macro is already selected. Now you choose one of the shortcuts key from this given options. Suppose we choose the option suppose like just choose Alt Enter. Okay. So this is the particular key we are using to change for macro is concerned because already select the particular part and this part or this text or this line or this word just we press alt enter the macro will on effect means all the set of keystrokes or comments will come into a single commit is concerned okay so we select alt plus enter okay and just press modify so just see this module one the name is example underscore macros and we choose this key alt plus enter and just press ok okay and just close it now what happened we just choose this or no kundu and now what do we do? Just press Alt and just press Enter. Just see how no kundu will be there, coming to there. Because this Alt Enter sets what this particular macro named example underscore macro. Okay. So this is known as the keyboard macro. Okay. Now we go for menu macro. So what the way to do this? Okay. Now what happened? Same way we are using the previous macro example underscore macro just go to the tools and this option customize just choose this and then is option menus okay from there category all comments are there just choose the below macros okay and from there my macros is there just choose example macros into there okay? and now where we want to put this macro within which menu the menu like file edit view is there so better to go for window because this window contain less menu so just choose from there the window okay because window only contain these two menus options one is new window is a close window now we just add item to there so now window this menu contain the another option example underscore macros which is a menu macro is concerned okay after what we do just okay okay now same way choose this order kundu and just go to the window and just check this is a option is given example macros and also just see the shortcut is already given which is a keyword macro already I described okay so what happened just click on there the effect into there 
so in that way the macros are working okay so means a set of keystrokes or comments just put within a single comment to accomplish a task automatically this is the macro is concerned okay so this is our first features now for the second feature is concerned which is a track changes so how to do this okay type some text here and after that we use this track changes operation okay so suppose we write here my name is or no kundu my youtube channel name is technical arquen it is an educational category channel this simple lines are just and we want to just enlarge the text size or font size just 22 so what we written my name is arun kundu my youtube channel name is technical arquen it is a educational category channel okay at first we go to the edit and choose track changes now just record press the record okay after that what happens suppose someone edit within that document what type of edit is there suppose there are some date suppose 12 october 2023 and also suppose they want to change my name by another name suppose onindita ghosh okay and after suppose technical short Arquin, just change something into there, and also change suppose cooking category channel. Okay, so we just put some changes within there, right? Now after when I come back and just go to the edit and track check is there, just put show. So what I can just see lots of given to there. How? define this different operation just go into a edit again track changes and go to manage and just see what they are at first unknown author what this part will be deleted that's why cross is given next this part will be inserted that's plus is given again this part is inserted short again this part will be deleted this part will be deleted this part will be inserted and this part will be inserted now what happen it may happen some part you want to insert in that case so suppose this part we want to insert so accept okay. second part this part is not accept so reject this part is not accept reject this part is not accept reject this part is not accept suppose this part we want to accept so accept it and this part which you reject and in that way what happens some part is removed and some part will be coming to that part so in that way we can find out what type of operation is going on or what type of modification is going on to there because we know the track changes is a one of the features present within this libreoffice writer that allow a person to edit or modify a document on a computer and return it back to the original owner electronically so this is the way how to use this track changes operation or features within this libreoffice writer i hope you have understood today's two different important features one is macros another is track changes so if you like this video please like it if you have some doubts or have some queries just write in the comment section of this video i will try to solve this problem If you like this video please like it and share it if you have not subscribed my channel till now please subscribe it keep watching technical arquin for upcoming videos and more new new topics is concerned so today up to this thank you and bye bye